It's not there. Okay, so this next card is another swap because you guys, I'm telling you how much I love these swaps. So this wishing you comfort and peace at this time. Isn't this beautiful? And she actually, I think maybe with a sponge dauber, put some Highland Heather ink. Can you see that on her ribbon too? I opted to not do that, but I thought it was such a cool effect. I had to share that with you guys. So this was a swap that I received from uh, Lori Kraus. It's K-R-A-U-S-S. -S. She does beautiful work. That's all right, Sharon. Even if the tip is not your own, we all appreciate good tips, whoever they came from. So thank you. We still appreciate you sharing. Okay, so this was my version of this card that we're actually going to make down at class. So I went with the Get Well Soon instead, and then I just didn't stamp that ribbon. I ended up using some of the champagne rhinestones too, because I loved those on this card. But yes, Sharon, Lori did a beautiful job on that card, didn't she? So, okay, let me show you how we are going to make that card. Let me scoot those dimensionals back up there. Okay, so we have an, a beautiful combination of colors here. And I'm actually missing, there's probably a love note to myself in here that told me that I needed some things because I can already see that I don't have my yellow ink. And it's not on the other card either. Okay, one sec, let me go see if I can find. how I did this, but we're going to use So Saffron. I have a feeling that this is Daffodil Delight, and somehow I already have it down at the studio, I guess, because I, I don't have it here, but So Saffron is going to work really well, too. You guys can see, like, look at, look at that beautiful color combo. So So Saffron, Highland Heather, Mossy Meadow, Mary Merlot, Rococo Rose, and Gorgeous Grape. Look at, isn't that, doesn't that work really well on that card? Okay, so let's get to it, ladies. All right, so I've got all of these pieces here and way more stamps than I need. I'm trying to see what am I not, I don't know. <laughs> Let me show you. So I start with, we'll, we will figure this out. This card, uh, thick whisper white card stock is what you're gonna start with. This time along the eight and a half inch side, I cut it at four and a quarter inches right there. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our tall card, okay? Uh, let's see. I don't want to put that away. I'm going to put that right there. That can go there. And then we have a piece of gorgeous grape cardstock. Just a little something to pop out around the edges. Three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And then this is some of the shimmery white cardstock. Um, she used that on her card. I don't know if you can kind of. I mean, it's in the in the um, cello envelope too, but it was beautiful. I haven't used my shimmery white paper much, so I was excited to pull that out. So this one measures three and three quarter by five inches. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see. I'm trying to find my little, hmm. it's never where I need it. My little grid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we might just get ink on this. I was trying to find my little scrap piece of grid paper, but I can't seem to find it. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So we are going to start with Highland Heather ink. Okay. And we're going to stamp a couple of these flowers. We're going to do one, maybe right there. We're going to do one right there. Isn't that beautiful? I love that already. Can you guys see that? Okay. All right. Then we are going to add in some of our leaves okay so we're gonna stamp maybe one right there one is gonna go off the edge right there one goes there one there and we're gonna put one right there okay then we're gonna come back and add the veins in the same color in mossy meadow ink so we're gonna do that one and that one that one, we got two more. So you just kind of keep spinning around. And the beauty of this is it's kind of a watercolor wash, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You guys know I love that a lot. Okay, next we are gonna add in the Rococo Rose. 
Well, hello, Miss Lisa. Glad you can join us from Wisconsin. And thank you for sharing. Oh, thank you. I, well, and I can't take credit. Like I said, it's a swap I received from Lori Krause. Um, I've always admired her and her work. I remember going to kind of a training session like way back when I was first starting out and she was just, she's like a hilarious gal. Um, so I just remember really enjoying meeting her and learning from her. Okay, so then with, what was this, Mary Merlot, we're gonna add those little accents right there and there and there. And then lastly, we are going to use, well, almost lastly, we're gonna use our So Saffron. And we're gonna just kind of add in some of the little dots just to give it, oops, I tried to move that. Of course, now I have, okay, hold on. <laughs> I gotta get that ink off. Okay, there we go. And I think, actually it's funny because um, I'm pretty sure I stamped off um, on some of this. And now I'm like, oh, it looks just as good, I would say. Okay, so So Saffron, last step is our gorgeous grape, get well soon. Hello, Miss Sally, I'm here. I know, it's kind of hard to keep track these days, isn't it? It's been a little crazy, but yes, I'm here. So I'm glad you're here now too with us. Okay, so get well soon. We're gonna stamp that right there. Oh, I love that font. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Okay, so you can see just lots and lots of stamping. And I will spare you guys. I actually already um, stamped another flower that's gonna go maybe right about there, and we will pop that right on. So you don't have to watch me fussy cut with my paper snips again, one of those flowers, right? Um, okay, so we can start putting things together. So let's see if our so now I won't be able to test it probably. My, my um, stamp and seal is probably right where it needs to be. Oh, look at that. So I had some purple. We're gonna have to put a big, <laughs> oh, bummer. Oh, well, you know, that's how it goes. Then they know it's handmade, right? If you have a little boo-boo on there somewhere. We're actually gonna put dimensionals behind this one. I liked this idea with the two panels here and then pop it up on some dimensionals. So we're gonna do that right there. Okay, peel these babies off. And ladies, it's getting warm in here. Um, I think it's supposed to be 90 or so here in Michigan. And so I was kind of panicked early and then I was like, oh, okay, it's, it doesn't feel too bad. And now, <laughs> now all of a sudden I'm like, okay, it's starting to feel hot, but that's all right. We're gonna head to the stamp studio soon and there's air conditioning in there. So <laughs> that will be good. I wanna put that right there. Hmm. You know what? For this one, I'm gonna. Yeah, then I cover up my boo-boo. That's what we're doing. We're gonna put that right there. See? So um, what did somebody say? When, I think it was at the stamp studio. Someone said, there are no mistakes, only opportunities to embellish. So I could have embellished and put um, some of my champagne rhinestones uh, to cover that up, or I could just put my flower right over there and then that is good. Okay, so we are gonna add, you know what I think I wanna do too? I was curious to see if we put a couple of um, the rhinestones in the middle there. I was kind of feeling like, maybe if we do like three of them, like it needed a little something. So let's do that. Ooh, I like that. Oops, there we go. So we'll put those, we're gonna kinda curl that up a little bit. So it'll be a little bit different when maybe we won't sprinkle. So on this one, I sprinkled a couple on the card, right? But this one, I think I'm just gonna leave those there. And then let's grab our, that Whisper White Seam Binding Ribbon. We're gonna make a bow and then we'll decide where we're gonna put the bow. Okay, let's get that going right through there. Okay. Let's see, so do we want, I don't know, I'm trying to decide, where do we want the bow? That's the only thing that now I'm like, hmm, what do you guys think? Is it good there or do we want it down? Hmm, that might be the only thing. Now I'm struggling with where I want my, where do I want my bow? I think I'm gonna put it right there actually. Okay, so we're gonna grab a mini glue dot. So you can just have some fun. You can put your bow wherever you like. Yeah, we're just gonna put that right about there. I'm gonna trim that guy off just a little bit. 
And there we go. Okay, serious crafter math, ladies. I feel like I just wanna like whoosh, just push this all out of the way. So there's one version, there's another version, right? I think they're both beautiful, okay? All right, so quick reminders since it's been a little bit, right? Put your online order in of at least $30 between now and next Wednesday. Where's my other card? Here we go. <laughs> you are gonna get these make and takes or the completed cards, whichever you choose for your $30 online order. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the super cute, cute fruit stamp set, right? Love that stamp set. And bump your order up to $50 and you're gonna get either the free embellishment, which are another full package of the In Color Enamel Dots or the Demo Design Dream Team, the August PDF tutorial. Oops, excuse me. So. Let me know. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here, hold on. This is the right one. All of a sudden, I was like, wait a minute. I have two of these pieces of paper over there. This is the correct coast code, the R4P4KGGM, which is also on my blog. So sorry, guys. <laughs> you know, you go away for a week and like you forget how to do stuff. I think that's where I'm at. Plus, like I said, it's getting hot in here now. So, okay. I hope you guys had a great time today on Facebook Live. I was really glad to be back. I was missing this last week. So thanks guys for coming and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed these cards. I hope you are loving the new gorgeous posy stamp set as much as I am, as well as the beautiful kit too. You can see it a little bit. See it again here too, right? Super cute kit. Uh, stamp set. You can make beautiful cards with it as well. So thanks for watching today, guys, hanging in there with me. I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you. I'm pretty sure it's next Friday. If it's not Friday at 1130, it's going to be Thursday at 1130. But plan on Friday and I will post if I need to do it Thursday instead. Okay, so have a great weekend and we'll see you guys next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you.